you have this amazing dining area and kitchen area. All right. So here we have my trophy house. And we like a good trophy house. I loved this pub. This this is it's very warm. You got lots of Hey, it's Vinny Kamen. I'm back for another paleo tour. I'm here with Victorique. How are you doing today? Doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. So we toured your house live on stream and uh, we're here for an official tour. Sure. Are. A little bit more comprehensive, but I'll uh, we'll go ahead and get started and let you lead the way. All right. I've gotten a lot more done since the last live tour, mainly on the path work. But here we have my entrance into the front because who can't get enough of plant boxes with the fence posts? Oh yeah, definitely. It's such a nice lush look too. So in my plant boxes, I have a mix of dragon tide, fern planters, and then the industrial, because they're both the bigger fuller leaf. Yeah, definitely. So we can come to the left. Okay. I added in some fountains, more so than before. And we have a nice garden stand over here. I like the garden stand. It's, it, I like I like the market stand in general, just how people have incorporated that into their builds, especially just you have a nice little market section. It's such a pretty item, especially when it's there's lights on this thing, right? No. Okay. I'm thinking of the other one. But it has the nice banner in the middle. There's a lot of different things that people have done with it. They're really cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Next, we have a little phoenix shrine in the trees. I like how you put the, the fire in front of it. It's totally appropriate. Gives a nice warm glowy effect to our in-game creator. It does. And it also, you know, the, the wings, like they wrap around it. So it, it has a nice, really nice effect. Like it's protecting the fire. Yes. I love that. And so you saw this the last time um, I had finally done something with my gazebo. I made it like a star stone and stargazing study. Oh yeah. I love, I love how you incorporate the lighting in here. I got to see that, and I love how you have all of the all of the decorations, especially the telescope, because it's such a good item. I felt bad having it just sit in my trophy house, which we'll get to. And it's totally appropriate to you, like kind of how, like where you have it, you know, looking out the side. The yeah, window, probably look better towards the back because there's trees here, but that's okay. The, the illusion. Yes, the illusion. <laughs> It's right. a special telescope that sees through lots of things. Through trees, yeah. I have it specifically angled to go through the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so back this way, I did a lot of work on these kind of paths, as you can see here. Oh yeah, that is that is really nice. Let's let's take a look down here. So through here is my crafting tent and um, my, you know, machines. So. So like, we have my collection of makeshift items. Yeah, I like how you frame everything with with the pathing, like the fencing and the trees. It's a really nice look. It really, it really sets, sets your area apart. I like how it gives like clear direction and fills in a lot of dead, empty space. Because the plots were given, unless you want a big mega mansion, are enormous. And yeah. I don't want a huge, bulky house. Yeah, there are a lot of people that do that. They they use most of the plot for uh, stuff like like you're doing, kind of add you know to the front yard space, and then they elect to have like a smaller house, but it's set towards the back. Yeah, or I see plenty of people put the house towards the very front and then just completely block off a ton of the space to make it the smaller zone. Right. I didn't. I wanted to be able to use some of the space. Oh, an item I finally got was this, the makeshift picnic table. I'm super happy about that. Oh, yeah, definitely. It, it's it's fun when people point that out, different items that, that they'd been seeking for a while. And it's, and it's, yeah, it, the makeshift items, especially they, they have 
they have like a special place to to all of all of Palians. And of how hard we grind for them. So here we have my nice bar pub kind of adventurers area. Lots of bottles and everything. Lots of the steins. I like how everything is like it. It looks like you had a a crowd of people that just came in here and and left. Yeah, I don't envy the barkeep, which is probably me. Yeah. <laughs> Might want to rinse these out before I get flies or something. Right. But, Lots yeah. of games. Yeah, this is this was a Friday night for sure. Oh yeah. Lots of big party after, you know, a good like pallium run or hunting a bunch of Mujin. Yeah. I am sad that they took away the sound for the gramophone because it was bugged somehow. Mm. But it was so much fun to have the music play in here too. I'm sure it'll be hopefully packed. they'll Yeah, I'm sure they'll bring it back and it'll be super fun. It really adds to that ambiance, the full noise. Oh yeah, they they need to have lots of little things. Alrighty, we can move on to the okay. other side of the house. A little bit of a far walk to do all in the. No, it's okay. There's there's still lots of little things that people take note of when I come back uh, from a different angle. I have my uh, treasure chest grove. Always like how people decorate with these we get so many of them and then you can't really interact with them so yeah you gotta it's, figure out something. it's fun to see how people use them and you know some you know, like you said you have like really nice decorative stack here it's like this is all of my my treasures that i found and and some people put them at the ends of their beds and some people they create a, a whole arena out of them like me <laughs> Some people make really cool archways, or I saw somebody made like a gazebo looking thing out of bug tanks and then chests over top of it. It was really neat. Yeah. All right. So here we have my farmland. I added in the nice well item, which is so handy. That is a nice, nice touch that you've added. You know, it's really cool how people have taken their their farming areas and made them decorative you know it's like primarily they're they're meant to be a resource but also like this this guy over here too <laughs> oh yes i saw on the uh, the paleo discord i saw somebody put this planter in the froggy bucket and i knew i had to do it too oh yeah definitely it's the log cabin planter with the big old top little side patch over here i was not one of the people who got the fancy little side stones and little wood frames so i would have added that if i had gotten those in that bug but you got a nice but little pumpkin patch though yeah. it's very full very full and i got myself a nice apple tree yeah figured there. since i had to move one patch to put the well in the center of my farm this is figure efficient out something else. yeah yeah this is efficient i like this little, like little i ran away but I have my little Kitsu Grove. I like the Kitsu Grove. Have you been able to take pictures of the Kitsu? I have. I have some of them. But the, the problem is the angle's a little wonky in the actual camera function. Yeah. So it makes it harder to get a nice photo that really shows the curvature of the space. Well. Someday. Someday we'll get some camera features. I'm sure they got a lot of other stuff they want to pack in first yeah i plan to also in that area when i'm going to wait till the silver wing nest drop bug is fixed and then i'm going to put that in the same area so my little shrines will all be together oh perfect all right now we have this pathway mirroring the other one wanted it to kind of feel balanced symmetrical I like how you denote, like, this is a way that you can come with the lights. Yes, nice have touch. them right at the entrance to really catch the eye. And then here we have my little plushy picnic. I love the plushies. Plushy picnic. You, I can totally imagine somebody, somebody having a loot. <laughs> jamming out. Yes, playing some music and having a grand old time with their ruined food and... <laughs> <laughs> Chappas. Uh, one of the things I always like, you know, just I guess as an engineer is when they the singularity sticks, they talk about, you know, the choppas are in the servers again. Oh, cool. that's the cutest thing. And it makes it more fun, even though everybody's frustrated because there's bugs. Yeah. 
right, so here we have my trophy house. Yeah, we like a good trophy house. Look at this. So the only romanceful character I am missing is Einar on my wall yet. I'm working on him. Yeah, that's a really cool display. How you have everything. It's there are some things that that you see, and I'm talking about you, the viewer, can see as I'm walking through these tours. You know the effort that was put in, and if that didn't earn a like, I don't know what does. <laughs> yeah, come on, leave a like for the effort that I had to go through to romance Tamala. Yes, that's, that's no easy feat. Yes. Unless you're like into her character specifically, it's it's not the most fun. Oh, I finally got the aquarium as well. Yeah, I'm just taking a look at this. I I really like the that this particular wallpaper on small rooms. It works so much so so well. So it well. makes you feel like you're in one of those aquarium uh like tunnels where they have a shark swimming over you. Yeah, and... totally. I finally got the bonsai tree here today. Yeah, this this really this really adds to it. You know, you have a nice a nice little centerpiece with a choppa that's just a zen choppa, you know. It's the cutest little thing. I want I want a bunch of them and to put them all over my shelves. Yeah, we need more bonsais. Bonsais are so cool. Especially to grow a bonsai tree that big, that would be so long of oh, yeah. pruning and care. I always like the koi ponds. I like how people have been incorporating them and have really nice lighting up at the front too. Garden choppas. I had to show off some of my uh, collection of the be the bellflower little lanterns from the Maji Market. Mm -hmm. Such a good item. And here we walk into my living room. Wow! So it's it's so impressive to me to kind of see like. The transformation so we got to see this live and i posted a separate uh a completely separate series for live tours and how you've transformed this away from the holiday so we're, yeah, we're already just, in a transition you know yeah just the other day it was the holly walls i had my tree i realized there is a um holiday box i forgot to pick up I'm that's to, okay <laughs> i want to acknowledge that <laughs> but um so i got my cernic so this is how it usually looks when it's not christmas got yeah. that woodsy feel yeah it's very 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 nice very warm i have my office that is in sore need of books i know we do need more books in paleo and look what i finally got i got the dresser you did yes did. that's awesome because we were talking about in the stream how I've gotten so many makeshift items that I made a whole tent and still hadn't gotten the dresser. Just yesterday, I got super lucky and got the dresser in that picnic table. I'm I so happy. Wonder, I wonder if there's like a like a. I know that they have some of those things in Paleo, but like I wonder if there's like a collection card. You know, people can check off based off of the the makeshift furniture that they've gotten so far. Could be on the wiki, and yeah. then there's, I mean, if you don't have the achievements bug like I do, you could see it. It's There's an achievement for collecting all of them. Like the oh, yeah. Furniture. So here's my bathroom. It's a mix of Moonstruck and Bellflower. I know. I felt the, like they were oh, kind sorry. Of I, 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 like, okay. I like how you're pointing out all the different furniture pieces. That way, if people are taking note, they know exactly what to look for. We're getting to have a good amount of furniture. I always see people asking, oh, what's this and what's that? Yeah. So, complete with some of the Maji Market cherry blossom flowers with the wisteria wallpaper. I like the combo of the nice pink black splash here. I know lots of people were really liking the, the drapery too. Oh, yes. This is, so, no, it's no like glitching or anything it's just if you go out of the grid mode you can place them really close and layer them together and i always i like how you incorporate your your corners here too of course i love how you know all of the flames just they turn on whenever you walk into a room that's so cool it's like magic it is 
and I just imagine it being nice and warm in here, and with the you know all the all the fragrant floral smells. Oh yeah, totally. It's very peaceful for the sleep. Totally. And then we go back across to the other side. And I gave a little bit of a hint to this earlier, but we're you have this amazing dining area and kitchen area. So originally I made this out of a large and a medium room. And then I decided I wanted a smaller house. So I wanted to translate my same kitchen into a medium and small, which was tricky to do. Because I was confused as to where I should put all my crafters and cooking stations. So I ended up putting them, the mixing stations in the dining room. Yeah, this is, this is very, very well done. And who doesn't like a very well designed kitchen, though? <laughs> Best, I mean, everybody's got to eat, right? That's true. Yes. Facts. And then... I wasn't able to find the uh, the rummage pile basket items yet, but I want to glitch, you know, pile of baskets over top of the present item because the present item is the best thing for decorators to act as a fake floor. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard about that. So it allows your objects to completely ignore the floor because you're not supposed to be able to put this makeshift, um, you know, the uh, the clothesline inside. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice. But then the present looks funky just sitting here. So when I get those rummage pile baskets, I'm just going to glitch it over. Hopefully hide it pretty well. Got all the oh, this is an item that a lot of people always ask which one it is. It's the the, uh, the Valley Sunrise Sink. Valley Sunrise Sink. It's really second. cool. But yeah, this is your laundry room. I forgot to yes. point that out. That's so awesome. It'll look complete with all the, you know, baskets and the clothing baskets. But, of course, r and Jesus does, in fact, hate me. So I could not get them in time for the tour. That is hilarious. I've never heard that before. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> it's all over the Discord. Yeah, it's one of my favorite jokes. Oh, my gosh. There, yeah. you snuck that one in. That was clever. <laughs> sneak it in like a sneaky little chop of ruins of Pallian server. Yes. But yeah, that is the full house space. And that's that is a proper that's a proper tour. Yeah, we we got everything in. We took our time. Uh, we weren't rushed. And thank you so much again for for giving me the tour. If you haven't liked the video yet, go ahead and do so. I really appreciate that. And subscribe for more Paley tours. Y'all know a commit tour when you see one. Now it's time for some Q&A, shall we? First question I like to ask is, how long have you been playing Paley? So my sister showed me the game in, I think, August of this year. So oh. 2023. Awesome. Yeah, that that is really cool. That is really cool. In that time that, that you've been playing Paleo, like, what have you found to be your most enjoyable? So I started off being really obsessed with the fishing. I grinded a lot of fishing levels first, and then I had my phase of doing the cake parties, and they were still super popular. Mm -hmm. Currently, I've been working on collecting all the fish and bugs. I actually, like, made sheets and charts of paper by hand, color coded of what fish is at what time, what location, what bait, as well as the bugs. So a lot of my time has been spent going to each of those locations at different times and Ooh, getting everything. Nice. People don't really understand or or for a game like this to casually get those things, it will take you a while. If you really, really want them, like you have to kind of go to that that level of granularity, like you described, to be at the right place at the right time with the right bait. Like for example, the the Bahari Rivers is such a small amount of space. You have what I think it's like fifteen minutes that the the night is for something like the willow lamprey. That's a rare fish, well eel, but it's only at night. So you have a couple of minutes in really far spread out zone in one area that you have to travel to. Mm -hmm. 
you got to practically be there before time runs out because you have to account for travel time. Yeah, it can get very algorithmic, you know? <laughs> I, I understand that completely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, because I'm so close. It's now just going to the very specific spots at the specific time of day and camping out, trying to catch them. So, speaking to fish and bugs, right? Random commit question. What do you think would be the prettiest fish? The prettiest fish? Like if it was to go in real life? Ah, just, you know, you have. Or just in yeah, you have you have almost, if not all of the fish uh, caught in the game. Which one do you think is the most aesthetically pleasing to look at? So I'm a big fan of the blue spotted ray is one that I really like. It's, nice. it's like a darker blue and it's got some light blue spots. Very glowy. Another one that I really like is the fairy carp. What's one is which one has been the hardest fish to catch? Ancient fish by far. My, I, I've mentioned how R and Jesus hates me. I I finally got it to even show up. Wow! And it was I just so happened to not be having a fisherman's brew or any boosts or anything, and it ran away so fast oh. after several months of going to kill a lake, trying to get it to even show up for me. Dare I ask? Do you have any routines that you do to to help your chances? Well, I've recently started making sure I keep. A fisherman's brew in my inventory at all times and then just whenever i'm in kilima i'll go and i'll do a cycle through the lake because i want to make sure my first one is a start ancient fish so i never have to do it again oh yeah yeah that's cool so i just every time go from start from left of the fisherman's lagoon go the whole way up the side of the coast so speaking on on you know getting back to like the activities of paleo what do you think is an activity that is missing? Hmm, that's a good question. Activity, oh, clothing crafting is a big one that people have suggested. I know they want to get all their their funds through cosmetics for, for the game, which I totally understand. Of course. But having the ability to craft like more simple clothing and like obtain some through gameplay instead of just being handed all at the start, would that, be really cool. That's a good. We have a loom. Yeah, we do. I agree with that. You know, um, the ability to craft cosmetic items is is something that I feel like we're also missing in Palea, uh, especially the ability to earn uh, cosmetic items. Like we can we can earn trophies through achievements. We can earn like recipes for crafting different furniture. Um, uh, but you know, it'd be cool to have more things that you can only get through work if you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Just another thing to grind your time and vary up your activities. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And then of course it's, and then the, because the cosmetics are such a way that people express their character and who they are through their character and how they interact with the world that they were given. Because it would just be like, oh, I'm just every other human if we didn't have all the cosmetics. Yeah. It's something important to people. So people could put in the work to look the way that they want. So my last question is going to be a little deep because I like to ask, I like to ask deep questions. You've mentioned during the live stream and uh, during our tour today that, you know, we need books in Paleo, right? And I may have asked this, you know, during, during the live stream, but I'll ask it again. What part of the lore are you most interested in learning about? If you had, you know, various books that you could not only put out to display, but also also read. It's between the Elder Woods and also just the fall of, of the of humankind through the ruins. As we're learning more and more about that, it's fascinating to see what technology technologies led to their downfall. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Kind of a uh, like a joke that I made is we already can kind of tell like what happened once you know yeah. humans came back into paleo. Everything starts breaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, the choppers are everywhere in the servers, and the humans are going and deforesting entire landscapes. Have yeah. you seen the look on Gina's face? That's all I gotta say. Yeah, that checks out. And yeah. she, you know, she, she's valid. Her yep. feelings are validated. I th I think so. 
Thank you all so much again for, for joining us on this paleo tour. If you like these paleo tours, definitely go ahead and give my channel a subscription. You know, I always bring the best tours in paleo and go ahead and like the video as well. I will see you all for the next Pele Tour. Victoria, thank you so much again for getting together with me. Thank you for coming and seeing my house. I hope people like it. Absolutely. All right. I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.